I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. We solved the problem when others could not. Sheriff Rick Staley says he and Clerk of Court Tom Bexley walked the courthouse as the sheriff explained the impact of space constraints on his office. What was the most obvious, besides my detectives and like sardines, but my record section and and a public service officer crammed four people crammed in a little room with boxes of records sitting on the floor. And it's just not professional. It's just not how you can serve the public. Staley says he understood Bexley's concerns. And while they wanted 5,000 square feet of additional space on the first floor of the courthouse, they discovered space on the second floor that would suit the sheriff's needs. I think that was kind of the breakthrough on that and then along with some additional space that he offered on the first floor uh, that will allow me to set up a real-time crime center and and get those things that we had in the works moving again. Bexley says this will take him under the ideal threshold of space he needs, but... I'm not an idiot. We're sensitive to the problems of Flagler County and to the taxpayer dollars. So for a two to three year period until the sheriff's district office is done, we'll operate at a little space deficient. God knows he's doing the same thing. So the bottom line here is that the sheriff and I I took the negotiations out of the hands of the BOCC and he and I worked it out. It took that step to get this done and we did that. The decision avoids what could have been costly litigation for county taxpayers. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. A judge upholds the mental competency of a Flagler County murder suspect. Tony Magoo reports. Joseph Boba II, a 31-year-old Bunnell man, is accused of shooting a Flagler Beach store clerk to Haley Roman Rosado, a single mother of six, back in February of 2013. On Friday, Boba walked into court looking like he'd been in a fight with swelling under both of his eyes and bruising on his face. Circuit Judge Terrence Perkins was in charge of the hearing about Nova's mental capacity, and he spotted that bruising and asked the accused what happened to his face. Bova said he had allergies, but one of his previous attorneys two years ago attributed it to a self-inflicted reconstructive medical procedure Bova performed on himself inside the Flagler County Jail. Bova's current lead attorney, Josh Mosley, used his client's appearance as a piece of his petition to convince Judge Perkins that Bova is too mentally unfit to stand trial. Judge Perkins deemed the defendant mentally competent. He showed the ability to testify effectively and relevantly in court here today. Perkins said... Bubba remains jailed without bond at the Flagler County Detention Center. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. Flagler Beach lawmakers consider a preemptive strike against aggressive panhandling. Rich Petschke has the details. When the city commission met this past week, the discussion of passing an anti-panhandling ordinance had strong opinions on both sides. Police say there have not been frequent reports of aggressive panhandling, just isolated incidents. So language in the proposed ordinance that says it is extremely disturbing and disruptive is not correct. State laws already cover aggressive behavior not restricted to panhandling for which people can be arrested. The Flagler Beach Ordinance provides for a first-time warning, then a $250 fine for the second violation. But in any case, a police officer has to see the incident occur in order to issue a ticket. Violators would not be taken into custody. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. After the 2016 presidential election, election security is top of mind for all upcoming elections. And election supervisor Katie Lenhart says Flagler County's elections are more secure than those in some of Florida's bigger counties. We updated our voting system back in 2017, so we are using the -the state-of-the-art equipment. In fact, Palm Beach County just recently upgraded to what we have, and now they will be able to conduct a three-race recount if needed and according to deadline, as we were able to do in 2018. Lenhart said her office works closely with the Department of Homeland Security to make sure our elections are as safe and secure as they can be. You can hear the entire interview on the Free For All Friday podcast. You can find that at the Flagler Radio app. Download the Flagler Radio app today. Tomorrow, is there money for all the updates in the voting equipment and its security? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office says the majority of juvenile offenders are getting back on the right path. Deputies say there's been a 96% compliance rate over the past year. That means just 13 of 351 juvenile offenders violated their probation. The Sheriff's Office offers a work ethics and training program that allows juvenile offenders to complete community service hours as well as a sports and mentoring program. 
all aimed at keeping them out of trouble. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.